Decatur High School is dismissing students early today due to a potential gun violence threat. The school was placed on heightened alert this morning as officials work to make sure the campus is safe. Decatur police and crisis response teams are also at the school. News 19's Emily Mosner joins us live nearby the school. Emily, you spoke with the deputy superintendent. What do we know at this time? Well, right now I am just right across the street from Decatur High School. And as I'm talking to you here, you're probably going to see either a lot of cars coming in and out of the parking lot or a line of cars. We've seen that for about the last hour or so as parents have been coming to the school to pick up their children. Now, I spoke with the deputy superintendent about an hour ago, and he told me that they are in the emergency checkout procedure, which means that they are ensuring that students who leave the building are getting in the car with an improved parent or guardian. Now, there's also a heavy police presence from the Cater police as well as a crisis response team. Now the deputy superintendent tells me that this all started this morning when several teachers received an email with a threat from someone claiming to be a former student. The school system was able to confirm that the person who made the threat was a former student, and that's when the school went into heightened alert and then secured the perimeter. The deputy superintendent tells me that the threat was related to gun violence, and that is why everyone has acted so quickly. We have a plan for this. We hate that we're, we're dealing with this, but we did act very quickly, uh, and we we are we're working through this situation as the police, uh, the police departments are doing their active investigation. As of right now, he tells me the plan for dismissal is still being worked out. Like I mentioned before, many parents have already come to pick up their children. They do anticipate that they will release students who drive themselves to school early, but only the driver of the vehicle will be allowed inside the vehicle unless they have a sibling at the school. Students who walk or take the bus will continue to be able to uh, be held at the school until a further plan is announced again right now the school is under a secure the perimeter mode as they are still investigating what all the threat was made uh, we might be getting some new information here i just want to double check that i am bringing you that most recent update it says they are dismissing students at decatur high school and middle school they say please be patient as people are entering both properties students who will have Students will have an identification match with them to make sure that they are getting in the proper vehicle. Again, this information is just now coming in. We do want to make sure we bring you the very latest. It says bus riders and walkers will be held until the end of the day or until they are picked up. When we dismiss, it will only be drivers and household siblings. If your child is not a driver or the sibling of a driver, they will not be allowed to leave. Again, this situation is all unfolding, but at this time, there has not been any threat to the school, any active investigation or anything like that. I will continue to bring you updates, but for now, live indicator, Emily Moser, News 19.